Greetings. We, are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. There certainly is a lot of tension in the world right now. Lots of saber rattling, and wars and rumors of wars. So how do we deal with global conflict? A past president summed it up this way. Speak softly, but carry a big stick. That's a great idea for a government, but what about interpersonal conflict? How do we resolve conflict between neighbors, co-workers, and even family members? Speaking softly works great. Carrying a big stick, not so much. So what is the key ingredient, in conflict resolution? Communication. That's right, good old face-to-face -face conversation. Who knew? Sure it helps that both sides show mutual respect during said communication, but virtually any communication, is better than none at all. A lack of verbal interaction causes a lack of cohesion, and a lack of cohesion leads to a lack of commitment, and a lack of commitment, is the first step towards implosion. But we also must have genuine concern and compassion for one another. If one or more players are a domineering self-centered narcissist, then the conversation will generate more heat than light, and probably won't end well. There are times when it's best to just walk away. It all depends on what is at stake. If it's just a matter of opinion, it's probably not worth dying on that hill. But if it is a matter of conscience, then there's a lot more to consider. No one wants to win the battle, but lose the war. No one wants to pursue peace, if the end result, violates their conscience. Both sides must be willing to compromise on the non-essentials. If one party insists that everything must be exactly as they demand, then that is not a conversation, that is a mandate. That is not a relationship, that is a dictatorship. So if you find yourself in a compromising situation, where a campfire is turning into a thousand acre forest fire, then bring in the water of communication. Don't let conflict brew inside your heart. It can lead to bitterness, and broadside you with a full-scale meltdown. Head the conflict off at the pass, at your earliest convenience. Sometimes you have to just let sleeping dogs lie, but most of the time, you need to nip it in the bud. It's easier to pull a weed, than it is to chop down a tree. But where do you draw the line? Each situation is different, and each personality is distinct. Some conflict must be resolved immediately, others need to wait for cooler heads to prevail. There are no cookie-cutter solutions for every resolution of conflict, but without timely and compassionate communication, the dispute will go unresolved, and unresolved conflict, is the main ingredient, in a recipe for disaster. Peace be unto you and your house. A wise man once said, the meek shall inherit the earth. He also declared, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Fulfill your destiny, by living in peace. As far as it depends upon you, live at peace with all people. Marriage is a lifetime covenant. All other relationships have to be weighed out. There are times when a relationship can sour, and become so toxic, that it is mutually beneficial to walk away. But blood is thicker than water, and family ties are worth fighting for. So speak softly, and carry a big heart. 